The email signature on Outlook desktop doesn't synchronize on mobile. You see, I have an email signature on my Outlook desktop. But when I open Outlook mobile, I do not see the same signature. Although, I can add a separate signature on my Outlook mobile. What if you want to keep the same signature for your Outlook mobile application? In this video, I will show you how to use the same email signature on Outlook desktop, Outlook web and Outlook mobile. So no matter which device you write the email, you always have the email signature. If you want to know how to create clickable email signature and how to add HTML email signature to Outlook, watch this two videos. You will find the links for these two videos in the description. Okay, let's create our global email signature for Outlook. For that, you need to log into your Microsoft admin account. If you are on Outlook web, you can find it here and select admin. On the admin console, select show all option. You will see this at the left and now select exchange. Here you need to select mail flow and select rules. So what we are going to do? We want to create a rule, add a rule and apply disclaimers. So we will create the email signature as a disclaimer to append this to all our emails. It doesn't matter which device you are using. I'll give it a name, email signature and here's the important thing. Apply this rule if. So what I want, I want to apply this email signature for my user only. I do not want it for the other users. So I'll select the sender and select is this person and here I need to pick my username and save. If you don't apply this rule for this sender, this rule will be applied for all the accounts you have within your Microsoft 365 account. But I do not want that. I just want to apply this for my user account only. So I have selected the sender is and here's the username I have. Next, what I want to do, I want to apply a disclaimer and I need to append the text here. So what is the text? I can create a simple email signature, but I want to use an HTML so that it looks similar to this. I can also create clickable email signatures. If you want to know how to create clickable email signatures, you will find the video link in the description. Okay, save and I have to select one more option, the fallback option. What if it cannot append this signature we created, what it will do? In that case, I will ignore. I want to send the email without the signature if it cannot append this. Now save, next, go to the next option. Here I don't need to do anything and I'll click on next and I'll finish. It will take some time to save the rule. If you want to append company-wide signature or company-wide disclaimer, you can create a rule here. In that case, you don't need to select any person name. The rule is now created. Click on done. Now I need to enable this rule. Click on this rule name and select this option to enable the rule. It will take a moment to get enabled. Now the rule is ready. So next, what I need to do, I need to go to my Outlook application and I need to disable the default email signature so that it doesn't get duplicated. So what I'll do, I'll just go to the signature and here I will disable the default email signature and click on OK, OK. Now I'll create a new email and I'll create a new email to my other email account and I'll not add any signature and you can see I do not have the signature here. I'll send it and you see I got the email Let's see if it has the e-signature. You can see this is the signature. We appended Exchange Admin Center, this one. Let's try the Outlook web version. I'll create a new email on the Outlook web. And here I did not add the signature. Send this email. And you can see I have received the email from Outlook web and I can see the same email signature. Let's try creating an email from the Outlook mobile application. Here I did not add any signature and I'll just send this email and I'll just see if we have the same email signature we just created on Microsoft Exchange Admin. And I have received the email from Outlook Mobile and I see the same email signature. All the three emails are exactly same. You see this is Outlook Web, this is Outlook Desktop and the other one was Outlook Mobile. The same email signature. One more thing you have to note that this email signature, what you set using Exchange Admin Center will not be applied to the email replies or email forwards. In that case, what you can do, you can enable your default email signature for the replies and forwards. Here, replies and forwards, I'll keep the 
signature click on ok and ok so the signature will be applied to the email replies and email forwards not for the new emails in this method you can have the same email signature everywhere you do not need to worry about the signature anymore and if you want to learn how to create clickable html email signature for outlook check out the video from the description thank you for watching if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel